Operation Opera, also known as Operation Babylon, was a surprise Israeli airstrike carried out on 7 June 1981, which destroyed an Iraqi nuclear reactor under construction 17 kilometers southeast of Baghdad. The operation came after Iran's unsuccessful Operation Scrooge, called Operation had caused minor damage to the same nuclear facility the previous year. The damage having been subsequently repaired by French technicians. Operation Opera and related Israeli government statements following it established the Dagen Doctrine, which explicitly stated the strike was not an anomaly, but instead a precedent for every future government in Israel. Israel's counter proliferation preventive strike added another dimension to the existing policy of deliberate ambiguity as it related to the nuclear capability of other states in the region. In 1976, Iraq purchased an Osiris class nuclear reactor from France. While Iraq and France maintained that the reactor name Osirak by the French was intended for peaceful scientific research. The Israelis views the reactor the Israelis viewed the reactor with suspicion and said that it was designed to make nuclear weapons. On 7 June 1981, a flight of Israeli Air Force F 16A fighter aircraft with an escort of F 15As bombed and heavily damaged the Osirak reactor. Israeli claimed that it acted in self-defense and that the reactor had less than a month to go before it might have become critical. Ten Iraqi soldiers and one French civilian were killed. The attack took place about three weeks before the elections for Kenset. Knesset. The attack was strongly criticized around the world, including in the United States, and Israel was rebuked by the United Nations Security Council and General Assembly in two separate resolutions. Media reactions were less negative. Israel's sneak attack was an act of inexcusable and short-sighted aggression, wrote the New York, New York Times, while Los Angeles Times called it state-sponsored terrorism. The destruction of Osirak has been cited as an example of a preventive strike in contemporary scholarship on international law. The exact efficiency of the attack is debated by historians. It took Iraq off the brink of nuclear capability, but drove its weapons programs underground and cemented Saddam Hussein's ambitions of acquiring nuclear weapons. Despite International opprobrium. Despite international opprobrium, Operation Opera would help to secure the successful liberation of Kuwait and diminish the risk of terrorist groups in the region obtaining nuclear weapons. Though it also heightened pre existing tensions with Iraq, making a future confrontation between the two powers more likely. Following is the video taken from one of the cockpits of the IAF F-16s on its way to attack the Iraqi nuclear reactor, which has been recently released. Dubi. Patrick, what are you saying? 
Okay. 